Hi, Jenna. Thank you for coming in to talk to me today. Welcome. So tell me, what is the change that you've been thinking about making? Um, I have not been as sedentary as I've ever been right now. Like I, I, I by myself coming to my computer, getting the kids out the door, coming to my computer, working all day, never taking breaks and not getting the little bits of exercise, like lifestyle exercise I used to get. So I, a change I want to make is to be more active throughout the day, I guess. Um, You'd like to move I, more. I'd like to move more. Yeah, definitely. Why is it that you'd like to make this change? A couple of reasons. I feel like um, it's not good to sit in front of a computer in one place all day long because for like physically, you know, my neck hurts and my shoulders hurt and I have sort of aches and pains, but then I think just mentally too, I'm just exhausted. Like it, it's just so hard to sit and I'm in Zoom meetings all day long. So I feel like I used to kind of pre-COVID, I telework but I used to like get up and put a little laundry in or get up and move to this location or walk the dogs around the block and for some reason it went out the window it's starting to take its toll on your body and you'd like something to be different with that yeah and and my mind (laughs) it gets my body and my mind you're not quite feeling like yourself definitely not um, so on a scale of zero to 10, zero being not at all important and 10 being the most important thing that you could change, where does um, getting up and moving more land? It's, I mean, it's like an eight. It's really, really important to me. It's, it's almost one of the most important things that you feel like you could do right now. Yeah, because I feel like it's, something's got to, something's got to, move <laughs> so it's got to change and that and yeah, so, I, I need to do this yeah it's a it's a must do it's not a nice to have right now mm-hmm. so why is high um as an eight and not something like you know a three in terms of importance um because there's no end in sight. Like I, I mean, I, like I said, I've, I've always teleworked, but I feel like my lots of other things, you know, aren't going to change because now there's more people in the house with other people teleworking and things like that. So I can't wait until the pandemic's over or other things in my life change like this. If I don't start getting up and moving, I feel like physically I'm going to feel even worse um I think I, I'm not as energized mentally to tackle creative projects and be engaged in my work I'm just like grumpier um yeah. and just from a stress management standpoint like I can't quickly get everybody out the door shift gears and be in my computer for eight hours and then walk out the door and have everybody coming in again so it's super important for your overall quality of life and it's so simple. Like, it seems like it should be so easy. But it's not. It's not. Because I just get sucked into the vortex of work. Yeah. So it's it's something that you've been thinking about changing that's really important to you. Um, if you had to list, you know, you mentioned a bunch of reasons, but if you had to list maybe the three best reasons um, to make this change, what do you think those might be? I think just physically, um, it, it's really important for me to feel less like this. Um, so I think just, you know, some, some physical improvements that could come of it are really important, um, from a stress management standpoint, I mean, taking breaks is super important and I, I know better. I mean, I, I taught stress management, darn it. Um, So I think like that would really help me to kind of like take a break and come back fresh. Um, And I think 
I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed by the chaos of our house. And even if I get like, again, like I'm not talking an hour long break, but even if I take 10 minutes to get up, move, and like I said, move the laundry from the washer to the dryer, it would just reduce that kind of stress too. So you, you'd be more productive, you'd be more creative, you've had more peace in your life, your body would feel better. So there's, there's a lot of reasons why this is at the top of the list and important for you to do something different about this right now. Yep. So if you were to decide to make this change, how would you go about it in order to be successful? I don't know. I think <laughs> that's where I get stuck. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could set alarms. I, I've kind of joked with my colleagues that we're going to end, we're going to have the therapy hour meetings where we're done 50 minutes and we're done. There's no reason we need to go because our, you know, my meetings go hour to hour to hour to hour. It's like just 10 minutes in between. So yeah. The meetings I I run. Yeah. Maybe like the meetings I run, I make sure we're done at 10 of. Um and put a lunch, you know, even if it's like 20 minutes for lunch, at least I have to like get up during that and maybe take the dogs around the block. They'd be happy. I'd be happy. Fresh air. I'm a firm believer in that too. Yeah. You've been, you've been thinking a lot about some things that you would start to try um, and, and just getting in there and doing it feels like it's really important to just start a practice. Mm -hmm. And that might make you a little bit more successful. Yeah, I mean, I've taken breaks in the past, or I've, and I know I think your fear is you're losing productivity, but you're not. You're actually gaining productivity, or it's enhancing your productivity. So, so keeping in your mind some of the reasons why you're doing these things um, might help it um, be more likely that you you kind of make some of those changes. So, um, getting up and moving your body more is really at the top of your list in terms of importance for a lot of reasons that include your physical, your emotional well-being and your pre- productivity and creativity. Yeah. Um, and it's it's something that that you know you're able to do. You've done it before. Like you mentioned, you know, pre-COVID, um, you still teleworked, you did all of these things. And it's just finding a way that kind of fits in your day-to-day life right now. Um, would would make it more successful. You've been thinking about taking some steps towards that goal, right? And seeing it out loud, it's like it feels lean that I haven't done any of it yet. But here we are. If you feel um, if it's interesting to you to hear it all put out there, yeah. So so knowing that, um, what do you think you might do next, if anything? I think I was thinking I could set an alarm on my phone to kind of trigger me to do it, but I but I then I was thinking that might be hard because my days changed with meetings. But maybe I could I could look at my calendar and every day start by finding one time in my day where I get you know at least take fifteen minutes as a start, and then again, kind of look at those meetings I run and make that mandatory. It's good for everybody, you know, any of the folks I'm working with too. If we end at 10 of and we all go stretch and take a little walk around our kitchen or whatever. So you you might try and experiment with some of the things that you know that you have control over um, and, and see how that goes. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jenna, for talking this through with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dr. Deal. I feel like I've got some possibilities now.